Yeah, you just treat it like the same kick. Uh, you know, I had a really good day. I had a really great two weeks of practice and uh, just went out there and did my job. Did, did the one you made last week, the longer one, did that help you, you know, going forward? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, anytime you're in a rut and you can you get a kick to get you out of that, that's definitely a confidence booster going into the next week. What's been the difference these last two weeks? Do you, do you think you're just not over swinging or what is it? I, I'd say it's part of that and, you know, just mentally zoning in to the game and, and really taking yourself out of what happens on the field and just doing your job. Coach, Coach said this week, I guess talking about last week, that you were more, you were more dialed in. Mm -hmm. What do you do to get yourself mentally better in terms of zoning stuff out and all those things? What, what have you done? Yeah, I mean, you, you just can't, uh, like, kickoffs, you know, just do your job. You know, that's got to be your mindset throughout the whole game, and you have to carry that intensity throughout. Were, were you getting caught up in other things? Were you, I mean, why, why did you have a period where you said, man, I'm not as dialed in or as not as focused as I need to be? Well, I don't think it was a matter of focus. It was just, you know, seeing my teammates out there, you know, third down for what, I'm you know, jumping on the side. You, know, you can't be doing that. And, you know, it's, it's a learning process for me. And uh, definitely taking this and keeping it for the, for the books. <laughs> that's a strange question. Are you wearing new shoes out there? Uh, I've got two pair, uh, okay. kind of switched inter interchangeably throughout the season, uh, different types of grass, and, and they were slipping a little bit. I thought I noticed against mm -hmm. Kentucky you had different ones out. That was it. How hard, I guess, was the first half of the season on you? It seemed, it seemed like you stayed positive on social media. Was it hard to keep that mindset? Uh, it, it definitely wasn't easy. Uh, you know, going in after after a game like that and, you know, trying to get back to where you were, it's definitely a difficult task. But uh, I'm glad the coaches believed in me and my teammates believed in me and, you know, believed in myself and got out of it. Did anyone specifically ever come up to you and give you words of encouragement or would you be willing to share that? Uh, I'd like to keep that private if you don't mind. So what do you what do you take from here? What, what's, is it are you, are you kind of through with all of it? Just you know, just go back to your, your regular routine, and kind mm -hmm. of put all that behind you. You're yeah, three in a row. You feel feel good, and it's kind of all that other stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, every week in the SEC, it's a, it's a one game season, and you have to treat it like that. And you come in and work hard every week. What did, did, how important was it for you guys to win a game like this? Where, where, I mean, it was, it was a close game. You're mm -hmm. trying to hang on for, for a win with a lead. And, I mean, you hadn't been able to do that earlier in the year. For you guys and building this program, how important was it to kind of win oh, it's, it's a grinded out type deal? Right. And, you know, that just goes to show that all our offseason training and all the stuff that we've been through, you know, the first half of the season, you know, it's starting to show that we've learned and we've matured. I think you've now equaled the amount of 40 plus yarders that you've made. Is there something different on those, in particular, on those long kicks that you've tried to work on uh, since the Alabama game? Just a mental approach and not trying to overswing. You know, sometimes kickers, they have a big leg, they can they can try to hit one. You know, they want to hit it as high as they can. But uh, you know, you just got bottom line, you just have to make it. What was, did the Kentucky kick give you a lot of confidence, especially on those long kicks? Yeah, Kentucky. That was a uh, that was a difficult stadium. It had some wind uh, again, like tonight, like. You know, grass is a little slippery tonight, but you know you can't let the conditions affect. You just got to go out there and do your job. Aaron, it looked like uh, you switched cleats before last game, three for three, and the new cleats now. Why did you make the change? Uh, just getting back to what I kicked in and back in the uh, fall camp. Uh, switched to the new cleats to see how they worked because with Nike, you know, we never really got to kick in them. So uh, there's different types of cleats out there, and I'm just trying to get something going. Do you think that has anything at all to do with the, you making the last three? Uh, it's tough to say. Uh, my, I think my mental approach has just changed dramatically, and I think that's been the biggest difference. Did, did the coaching staff, I, they love to apply pressure, especially on you guys in Craig. Did they back off a little bit? Did they keep things consistent with how they normally do things in yeah, terms they, of kicking and practice? They kept it consistent. Uh, I mean, they, they believed in me. They knew I knew what I was doing. And you know, more. trust back and forth on that communications is very important. How important was it that they said that, that Coach Jones said he's my kicker, that, she, that it was never this open competition to, to put yeah. anything? How, how important was it that he stood stood by and said, hey, he's my kicker, I believe in him. He's my right. I mean, you know, he's got our back and we've got his. It, you know, it's, it's that relationship and family atmosphere that, that really helps us win games. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it.